Hello! The audio got cut off in the beginning of this tape, so it gives me a chance to tell you about eating for enlightenment. I've found through experimentation that I feel way better physically and mentally when I eat clean. Eating clean means eating no wheat, caffeine, sugar, processed foods, commercial meat, or alcohol. Now, I do eat some grass-fed beef, and I will occasionally eat some other foods I'm not supposed to eat, but for the most part, I do continually eat mostly clean. The cleaner I eat, the more energy I have, and the clearer my mind is. It's really a big deal. Some of you watching this may think that I'm eating weird stuff in this video, but when you think of it, isn't eating some highly processed, adulterated food with artificial colors and flavors, maybe even frozen and microwave, truly a weird thing to put in your body? Clearly, it's not what our bodies evolved to eat. Here I'm harvesting some kale, showing my purple cabbage. I'm harvesting some parsley. And this is purslane, a weed uh, that grows naturally in my yard. It's good to eat. Always be certain to positively identify any plants that you eat. Gourmet variety dandelion over here. It's from France. So let's see. Get a nice big leaf of that. Go. There's my ashwagandha plant right there. Root of that plant is very medicinal. So that's my outdoor part. Then of course you gotta wash the greens early. Okay, so we've got our little more than two cups of purified water. And the first thing I usually do is blend up the food I've gathered outside. So let's get this thing going. So concisely what I recommend you eat is organic vegetables and fruits, beans, nuts, seeds, certain non-gluten grains, ghee, honey, purified, remineralized water, certain herbs, and about anything made out of coconut. Please consider replacing some of the processed food you're eating, that stuff that comes in boxes and cans, with real whole food. A whole food diet will give you strength, energy, courage, and life energy. Once that's mixed up, I usually add some liquid iodine. This helps protect your thyroid from the radiation from Japan. And also if you're in contact with fluoride or chlorine in your water, that depletes your iodine. And I got some non-GMO lethicin that I keep in the freezer. This stuff is awesome. It's brain food. Really good for your brain. If you eat egg yolks, you get this in your diet. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to get. It helps control cholesterol. And I usually do a few drops of biosil. It's a orthosilic acid, which is a form of silica. It's good for your connective muscles in your nails. Collagen as well is good for your connective tissue. Food is seen as a carrier of the life force called prana and is judged by the quality of its prana and by the effect it has on our consciousness. This true way, I also use Sun Warrior rice protein. Put a little of each in there actually. Here's the Sun Warrior. Okay, after that, I would add more greens or a green powder. In this case, since it's not exactly lettuce season here out in my garden, it's the fall where I just planted my lettuce. I bought some store-bought organic lettuce, which is eh, pretty good. I had two packages today. I had mixed greens and spinach and then this green. So the spinach and greens. I want to add a little fiber. In this case, I have acacia fiber. You can add flax, ground flax. Meal is good because it has omega-3 and fiber. I usually add goji berries if I have them or acai um, liquid usually, but I'm out of both those right now. But I do have some blueberries, so I'll add those in. Make a pack with a friend to take a vacation from normal food for a week or two and see how you feel. 
Then I'm going to add some raw coconut butter. This stuff is the bomb. Not only does it taste good, but it's really good for you. This is the type of good fat that you need for energy because this is a very low calorie shake here so far. I just got a bunch of greens in it really and protein. So I've learned to put a couple of tea, heaping teaspoons of this in. And it'll help amp up the calories. Sometimes I have a liquid vitamin D that I put in, but I'm out of that. So I have some vitamin D pills. I'll take a couple of those. Sometimes I add in a little bit of turmeric. It tastes kind of bitter, but it's just so darn good for you. I can't resist. I got the Frontier Herbs turmeric root. Add a little of that in. Anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory. I usually add a little vitamin C powder to it, um, one that's not made in China. And I also add some MSM. This gives you sulfur. You need a little sulfur in your diet. The ground in this area is completely devoid of sulfur. And so I don't get it in my diet. So I add a little sulfur. Um, this is really good for your muscles. If you have an injury, torn rotator cuff, this is the thing right here, MSM. The water I used already had minerals in it. It had fulvic minerals, and it had um, some calcium and magnesium in it. So I don't add any extra minerals. And the final thing I'm going to add is this little spirulina. It's good to eat some algae. It has some uh, building blocks of life in it that you just don't find anywhere else. I cut the taste of that. Sometimes I add a little stevia. To make it taste better, you could add some more fruit to it or even a little ice cream if you eat that stuff you know it would sweeten it and cool it down a little bit because it's like room temperature right now but since I don't really use ice cream I want to just add a couple ice cubes to it to cool it down and bon appetit Eating whole, organic foods can help you on your path to enlightenment. I always feel better when I eat clean, and my mind's a lot clearer also. So try it. Until next time, it's your friend Joel saying, take care.